Today, three decades after the end of the Cold War, our multipolar world is more free and vibrant, yet still chaotic and turbulent, more interdependent, but more unequal, more prosperous, yet still afflicted with poverty. We see spectacular progress, but also unprecedented human suffering. The world is at a historic inflection point. The international order established after the Second World War is passing away, but a new order has yet to emerge. Competition between the major power contribution uh, com competition between the major powers is becoming more confrontational. This can pose serious threats to peace across Asia. A new Cold War threatens to engulf Europe. The momentum there towards greater union has already reversed. Barricades and walls are going up, especially against the tide of misery flowing out of a turbulent Middle East. In many countries, intolerance has revived the ghost of xenophobia and Islamophobia. After decades of strong growth, the world economy has reached a plateau. Despite this adverse international economic environment, my government has in the last three, three years move the country towards robust growth. We have fully integrated the 2030 development agenda into our own economic and social strategy. This rests on our conviction that people are the true wealth of our nation and that it is human development which will determine our future destiny. Our priority goal of economic development requires internal peace and stability. My country has been the principal victim of terrorism, including that supported, sponsored, and financed from abroad. We will not allow externally sponsored terrorism and threats of destabilization to cause turbulence in Pakistan. Tens of thousands of our citizens and thousands of our security personnel have been killed or injured in terrorist attacks. This has only reinforced our resolve to eliminate the scourge of terrorism. Our comprehensive strategy of law enforcement and targeted military operations has produced remarkable results and enabled Pakistan to turn the tide against terrorists.